It brings me great joy that the Purifiers have chosen to join the Daylon. But Amon's armies are still a threat. Mobius Corps is overseeing Amon's hybrid production lab. I will not let this continue. We will go to Revenscar and destroy the station before Amon can create more of these abominations. Hierarch, as ordered, my Dark Templar have tracked Mobius Corps to their base within the asteroid belt of Revenscar. Well done. Kerax, what do you know of their defenses? The asteroid field is highly volatile and guards the base's outer rim. The Spear of Adun will not be able to pass. However, our carriers could strike at the heart of the facility. We will set a course at once. Amon has taken away my armies. So shall I take away his. Ships for assault. Hierarch, Mobius Corps' vessels are not moving into attack position. Something isn't right. Our shielding has been punctured. I'm detecting Terran cloak signatures on the lower decks, heading toward the bridge. Templar, to me! We will not let the Spear of a Doom fall! Kerax, we cannot let this assault interfere with our plan. Mobius Corps will not expect a counterattack. Though you are not a warrior, you know their defenses better than any other. I entrust this task to you, Facesmith. Lead our carriers against the facility while my warriors hold here. As you command, Hierarch. With our ship boarded, I need our best warriors here. I know you are not trained for battle, Facesmith, but with your tactical expertise, you can destroy this facility. Go now, with my full faith behind you. The Mobius facility. As we suspected, this is where Amon's hybrid armies are born. The operation is fueled by three power cores. Destroying them will destabilize the facility and allow us to annihilate the remaining structure. If I establish our nexus point on the outer edge of the platform, the Templar can fight their way in. But there are no ground paths and few minerals. Fortunately, our carriers are ready now. With their help, I might have a chance. Victory! Siravek Cryor! This platform has been locked by Mobius security protocols. Hmm. They cannot be too difficult to decipher. If I gain access, I should be able to move the platform to areas with additional minerals. Well, at least there's enough resources here to get started. Walk through the stars. Understood. The shadow spreads. On the wings of justice. Not for rush. Not for honor. Understood. It is done. I have access to the controls. The platform is operational. These navigational controls in the upper right of the command display will allow me to move it toward additional resources. The enemy will not be far, though. I should send some ships to scout ahead before we relocate. Where do our enemies lurk? I am detecting several Banshees approaching our Nexus. Amon has awoken. We sleep no more. The Death Fleet descends. Destruction awaits all traitors. 
Karax. We are having difficulty repelling the hybrid on the Spear of Adu. Have you located their stasis chambers? My scans show two chambers nearby. They appear to run on Solarite. We could use it more than ever. We are ready. I am eager to strike. Some experiments should never be done. Zarakunur. Justice is served.
destroyed. Mobius core energy reserves dropping to 66%. Excellent work, Faye Smith. Press on. Justice is served. Mineral field depleted. Agreed. Time is now. Offline hierarch. There is only one more core. Well done, Carax. The attacks on the ship have slowed. Time base is under attack. Time for battle. We have met the enemy.
engage the enemy. Cruisers are warping away from the Spear of a Dune. Yes, I believe I have found them. It is no matter. We will not be deterred. The final power core has been destroyed. We must strike now. Pilot, is the Spear of a Dune secure? Yes, we repelled the invaders before they could reach the Solar Core. Our weapon systems are yours to command. It was my honor to serve. Fire! Amon's hybrid facility lies in ruin. His hybrid armies shattered. For the briefest of moments, we lingered on the cusp of ruin. We endured because of the actions of one brave Templar. In the midst of darkness, I have seen a light. I have seen defiant hope. 
Karax of the Kalai. You were born a craftsman from a cast of engineers. But now, you stand as a warrior. Today, it is clear that the Age of Casts has come to its end. Today, we must all become Templar. your hybrid facility and turned your servants to my side all that is left is your destruction impudence you are insignificant in the face of the salvation i bring you will come to ire and die He is gone. He is so arrogant. Just as he could look into me, so I have looked into him. His form is almost complete, and now he waits for us to return. He plans to bring the Great Fleet down upon us. There is a way around this. We have to eliminate the sacred Psi Matrix that powers ire, or we are all doomed. If he intends to use the Golden Armada to stop us from destroying his body, then you are right. Destroying the Psi Matrix is essential. It seems this connection of yours has proved worthwhile. But it is time to free yourself from Amon. Sever yourself from the Kala. I would relinquish all that I know. It is the only way. Unshackle yourself from the past, Rohana, and step into this new age. For the day long. Set a course for Ire. The Spear of Adun has finished replicating a new combat unit. You can assign it to a faction now if you wish. <laughs> Such hubris. To think that they could control what they did not understand. Oh, it's always hubris with the Terrans. Get too close to a black hole. And it will crush you. We once thought the same of the Tal'Darim, Alarak. We believed you mindless and obedient slaves. And we thought you were weak, impure, and unworthy. And yet now we stand together. Perhaps we acted too rashly with Mobius Core. There may have been a different way. Oh, Templar. Is there ever a moment when your people do not doubt themselves? No, Artanis. Extermination was the only course. The hybrid leave nothing to save. The Golden Armada has devastated the Sector, Artanis. I know we cannot engage them directly, but this must not continue. Karax did well. I think he will make a fine Templar. Rohana, before you freed yourself from the Kala's grip, did you see anything else? Yes, I saw Amon's end. As the Firstborn created the Kala, the Zelnaga were disturbed from their slumber. They felt an absence within the void itself. They discovered Amon and his followers at Zerus, and a war among the gods erupted. Amon unleashed the swarm. 
and the swarm consumed the Zelnaga. Only a fraction remained within Ulnar. In the final confrontation, Amon was felled, but he was not defeated. He returned to the Void, twisting it with his hatred. His servant, Narud, machinated for eons, seeking a body to sustain his master. The Hybrid. A stepping stone towards the host body he now forges upon Ire. His plan is almost complete. We are still here, Rohana. And he can be defeated again. The energies of the Void are highly unpredictable. The Keystone appears to act as a focal point, converting the energy of one reality into another. The deeds of a Templar suit you, Karax. For the entirety of my life, I have given myself to the art of creation. My war has been one of design, a battle against obstacles that hinder optimization. I am a face smith and will always be my first calling. But, as times change, those who were not born true Templar can become so through their deeds. Then ready yourself, Templar. You will be needed. Hierarch, the Purifiers are impressed with your leadership. They clamor to strike at the heart of Iman. Friend Phoenix, they are impressed equally with yours. Yes, they have chosen to follow my command. Leadership is new for me, as is everything else. I had not intended to become Hierarch. I questioned the decision. There had to be someone more worthy. Do not fall into the same mental traps I did, my friend. The Purifiers follow you for a reason, as the Dalam now follow me. Self-doubt will only cloud your decision-making. You speak truth, Hierarch. You speak as a leader.